Northern Pacific Airways finally launched its long-awaited service between Los Angeles, Ontario to Las Vegas on July 14th. Unfortunately, those looking for the return trip were left with a cancelled flight after the carrier needed to suspend its service due to a minor mechanical issue. It's not a great look for the airline, which currently operates with a single 28-year-old aircraft. Northern Pacific Airways had hoped to launch services at the beginning of 2023, but has been stifled by various regulatory hurdles. In early July, the carrier received its Federal Aviation Administration, or FAA, approval for its air carrier certificate. This opened the door for the airline to launch its Las Vegas service, a service that didn't quite finish on its first day. With the airline cancelling its return service back to Ontario, passengers were re-accommodated onto other services or provided a full refund. The airline released a statement about the incident, noting the teething pains that can be expected when launching a new airline. The statement read, These are the unfortunate issues that come with starting a new airline. Northern Pacific Airways apologizes for any inconvenience caused to our valuable customers. We look forward to seeing passengers on board the next scheduled flight. We were so happy with the positive reaction we received on the outbound flight and that the airline was the most tracked flight in the world on Flight Radar 24 during this mission. As reported by Simple Flying over the weekend, the airline's first flight saw more than 30,000 people track the inaugural service overall. This made it the most tracked flight on the platform at the time, followed not very closely by an Air Algerie flight between Oran and Jeddah with a bare 800 followers. With only one aircraft active in the carrier's fleet, passengers had no option but to opt for other airlines or a refund. Meanwhile, the 28-year-old 757-200 registered November 628 November Papa was inspected and repaired. The aircraft first entered service in May 1995, flying first for US Air, then US Airways, and eventually American Airlines. While the 757 continues to operate fairly reliably with several airlines across the United States, the now out-of-production type is getting quite old. Many have questioned Northern Pacific's decision to operate these older narrow bodies, but the airline believes that the jets will get the job done until it's ready to acquire newer and more efficient aircraft. In other more exciting news for the airline, it plans to launch its charter and ACMI service for clients across North America this year, with aspirations to launch the service as soon as August. It remains to be seen, however, when the airline will launch its one-stop itineraries between Asia and North America, a similar business model to Iceland Air, but with Trans-Pacific services. This gives passengers the ability to stop over at Ted Stevens Anchorage International Airport and explore all that Alaska has to offer. So what do you think of this incident? Share your thoughts by leaving a comment. In addition to our daily YouTube videos, Simple Flying publishes over 150 articles every week. If you're looking for the latest aviation news and insights, visit simpleflying.com.